Hey guys, I want to make a quick video show how to check your TPS on this. Uh, well, this one's a 2005 Players Fusion 900. So um, there's not a lot of videos really explaining everything says you got to use digital wrench, but that's not necessarily true. So uh, I want to show you how to test it without digital wrench and without the TPS tool that you can buy online with a 9 volt battery and yada yada yada. Okay, so uh, the lighting in here is horrible, but you're going to have to get a good idea of what I'm doing here. So now I'll see here. Okay, in here in this uh, in this set of harness here, you can see there's a four prong plug right here. That is for, I believe, is for the diagnostic tool to, to hook into. This one here is the one that you're going to be concerned with. It's a uh, three prong plug with black, black and white and orange so you're just going to want to stick some wires in there or whatever whatever you can because you're going to power up the computer through the harness with with these wires so i just have a 5 amp 12 volt battery charger here with uh, it's just some alligator clips here so obviously black on black i don't know if you can see this in the video here i'm just now this is probably not the safest way to do this and if you can see a way to make it better, then that's fine. But that's all I have right here right now. So here we are. Oops, I fell out. This is going to be hard to do with one hand, I'm starting to realize here. Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to plug this in. And once it's plugged in, I'll start the video again. All right, guys, all plugged in. So the black one is below the rag. The, the positive is on the top. The positive goes through the orange into that three-prong harness. Man, this the lighting is here is horrible. But uh, okay, so so right now the computer is powered up, and your TPS plug, which is where right here. So on the red and white here, which is to the far right, it will have five volts or four point nine three in my case it was, and uh, and on the far left is the ground. And in the center is the signal, the TPS signal, that goes back into the computer, which reads voltage. So as you can see, I got a back probe with just some springs that I had kicking around. It's making connection through because you need to have this connected in order for it to send uh, voltage back to the computer. So okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna plug it back in. I'm gonna walk around here. Sorry about this video, guys. It's, it's just to give you an idea here. So I'm going to plug in the TPS with with it back probed like it is. You don't really need the one on the black side because what I'm actually going to do, that's just ground to the chassis anyway. So I'm just going to ground it anywhere on the snowmobile through the spring would be good. That should be a good enough ground. And okay, you're just gonna need a multimeter. This is like a cheap one from Canadian Tire. Well, whatever, it works. Alright, so now God is this hard to do with one hand. Alright, so now I don't know if the lighting is any good down here. Can you see? Let's see. My goodness, the lighting is horrible. Ugh, I'm trying to show you guys here, but there is such horrible lighting. Okay, you can kind of see here. So what you're going to do anyway is put the positive onto the blue back probe wire. And you should get 0.93 volts if accurate. Now I'm just going to blip the throttle here. This is full. That's 3.98 or whatever. And back to close was 0 0.94, 0 0.93. So that's exactly where it should be. My TPS is working fine. So uh, so again, if you want me to show you guys, all I did was I hooked my positive lead. I'm going to unplug the TPS again so I can show you guys. I hooked my positive lead to the blue middle wire. Oops, sorry. To the blue middle wire into the harness of the TPS. This one you don't even really need to use. It was a ground, I added it there just to, just to see with the ground. 
but it's the same as grounding it you know to a spring or anywhere on the chassis because it's all grounded anyway okay i hope this video helps somebody else uh thanks for watching